Hey everybody, it's Army Guy E8. Welcome back to World of Tanks console. Today we're downrange to look at the pre premium American Tier 8 tank destroyer, the TS5. This is the fifth American Tier 8 tank destroyer and it's the third premium in this class. We took this tank into battle 75 times. We had a 57% win rate and an amazing 41% survival rate with two ace tankers. And here's the bluff, the bottom. Bottom line up front, we like this tank. This tank is strong and can be amazing on the battlefield. Oh, oh, I think we just got shot. This tank is extremely fun to play, has a strong gun, great armor, and very good reload time. The downsides are it's a typical slower, turretless tank destroyer. Where's he going? With poor gun depression and middle of the road accuracy. Wait for me. And don't forget, oh. It has a 15% XP bonus and 50% silver bonus. Let's get back to the garage and look at the details. Ooh I forgot how hot it can get out there. I haven't been out there in a while. But that's all right. I still got it. Let's keep the hat on. I'm going to take a little bit of that equipment off. We'll keep the hat on because I know my hair is a mess. Let's push the sides up. Pull the front down. And let's get into this review by the number. The tank's origin. In June of 1954, six proposed projects of vehicle upgrades of heavy tanks and tank destroyers were proposed at a conference held in Detroit City. One such project was the TS-5, intended as a tank destroyer which featured a closed stationary cabinet. A dummy vehicle was built, but further development was discontinued. All right, let's look at the numbers. Speed, you're going to go 26 kilometers an hour in this tank. The gun, the gun is a 120 millimeter Alpha Tango Mike 58 gun. Rate of fire right off the assembly line is 6.3 rounds a minute. With the skills in our commander, with the equipment we're running and food, we've got ours up to 7.8 rounds a minute. Accuracy starts at 0.44, ours is at a 0 0.40. And that's just the, that's the one shaky part about this tank is its accuracy. Reload time is 9.5 seconds, ours is at 7.1 seconds. Aim time is a very impressive 1.9 seconds. View range, view range starts at 370 meters, ours is up to 431 meters. Ammo, alpha ammunition is AP and it'll pin for about 248 millimeters of armor. The premium Bravo ammunition is heat and it'll pin about 300 millimeters of armor. You're gonna cause about 400 hit points of damage into the enemy every time you hit them. Gun depression, five degrees. Gun elevation, 20 degrees. Let's take a look at the armor. The turret armor thickness is between 60 and 280 millimeters. The frontal lower plate armor is between 65 and 153 millimeters. Thick, rounded, and sloped frontal armor will keep you well protected and help you earn XP by blocking damage. Always keep the front pointed towards your targets and make the most out of the protection this tank provides. When positioned correctly, the TS-5 can effectively deflect damage and hold its ground while your allies flank and finish off the enemy. It's not how we play this tank, and you're going to see that in the replay. This tank will let you remain well protected as you annihilate the enemy. A good tank destroyer should always give you a gun that is reliable and able to pierce enemy armor as well as the confidence and safety to set up your shots. The American Tier 8 TS-5 tank destroyer is such a vehicle. The qualities along with the TS-5's incredible alpha damage and penetration values make this an excellent frontline vehicle to assist your allies and push the enemy back. Don't camp in this tank destroyer, use the armor, use the gun's DPM, Get in the enemy's face, be aggressive, and take the fight to them. Push them back to their spawn and defeat them. You'll earn extra XP by completing damage-related challenges faster in this tank using the gun's excellent penetration values. All right, we've got a nine-skill commander. It's running six cents, situational awareness, green thumb, silent driving, camo expert, muffled shot, born leader, steady aim, and rapid reload. I use every camouflage skill that I can use on a tank destroyer commander. All right, let's take a look at the equipment. We're running advanced optics, advanced concealment, advanced loader, and enhanced targeting info. All right, that's it. Those are the numbers. We already got on our body armor. 
let's get back into this tank and let's get it onto the battlefield and I can show you how it performs.